Hello guys, my name is KNG, the king himself, and I still remain your superstar host. Hmm. We, you know, we just got a very good information that IVD has promised to take his own life. Yes, suicide. You just had me right. You just had me right. And it's very, very painful. Don't forget what happened between IVD and Lit Bimbo. That Bimbo had to kill herself. It's a it's sort of a suicide when she got herself burnt. And then, you no. Know, a lot of rumors that IVD was just watching when it was she, it was, she was doing that to herself and IVD could not save her. IVD is a very popular auto the line in Lagos State and his wife, late, late Bimbo, they've been together for decades and it's so very, very much painful that the poor woman had to die like that. And then Blessing CEO has been caught in the crossfire between the family members when she started going against the dead, you know, dragging the dead, said it was Bimbo that really caused that shit. That Bimbo has been a very, very hard drug addict, even before her death. That there were times that when they had argument, she has always broken, you know, a lot of bottles on the head of IVD. Well, now, shouldn't we be bothered as IVD wrote this on his Instagram story? Not seeing my kids, my girls, for a month and one week now. After hours, if I don't speak or hear from kids, I'm taking my life. Life is empty without my wife and kids. Why am I still living? Guess it's time to end it all. Ah, oh, God. Oh, this is so painful. Man, the way everything just turned, like, it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy. Like, the way everything just turned around all of a sudden. Hmm? Ikechuku Ogbona, better known as IVD, celebrity auto dealer, and the ex-husband of the late Bimbo Martins, shared a suicidal post. The embattled father of four revealed on his Instagram story that he has been ostracized from his kid. Now, I believe this is the handwork of the wife's family. They decided to just take the kids for themselves and well, that could have happened if that was in the United States or another part of the world apart from Nigeria. But Nigeria, the custodian should be the uh, the, the husband, that's the father. Well, that's just me speaking from the point of law. He expressed how sad he is that he hasn't seen his kids, his girls, for about a month and a week. He threatened to commit suicide if he is not given access to his kids. Well, let's, let's just face the reality. Any man will be so pained, and any man will be. And then, like I said the other time, that it's uh, blessing see you has been caught in the crossfire. There was an allegation that she was arrested. <laughs> they said that she was arrested. Oh, you, you will be say they talk everything, you just they talk as you like. Mm? So they talk as you like. They okay, they don't arrest him. Then she came out and said, Nobody arrested me. If they arrest anything, now here they arrest. Now, I fear they arrest. Well, for him, as IVD, losing wife and kids has emptied him. Ends the decision to take his life since his world revolve around them. Well, I would just like to advise this man seriously. This bros, make him not even try. And why will you do that? It doesn't guarantee. It doesn't. It doesn't warrant you taking your own life because of what? No, I'm very sure if he takes the matter to court, the custodian will. Be, he will be the custodian of the children. I'm telling you. I'm making no kill himself. Oh. Not seeing my kids, my guests for a month and one week now after hours. If I don't hear from them. Well, about the late Bimbo and her husband saga, the couple made headlines last month. That was October when Bimbo and her husband got into a scuffle and she reportedly set herself ablaze in the process at their home in Lake Lagos. And I'm still like, why would someone set herself ablaze? Is that not really, really confusing and somehow de discomforting? She was rushed to the hospital where her husband who sustained minor injuries allegedly absconded. Bimbo was in the intensive care unit, that is the ICU of a Lagos hospital, for some days, but she unfortunately gave up the ghost on Saturday morning. Well, gist which made the rounds online alleged that Bimbo had been suffering from domestic violence from her husband for 22 years of relationship. That was what she said. That was what a lot of people said, actually. But people like Blessing CEO, that relationship and sex expert said, no, IVD has ever done that 
he has never beaten his wife. And people are waiting for your own blessing. She be like, say you get interested in this man. What happened? Where Ivy himself spoke about the alleged domestic violence when he broke the silence uh, in a now deleted post, he has deleted the post via his Instagram account. He talked about how his late wife put up a facade of a personality to the public. Ogbona also shared videos of various instances where his late wife assaulted him. And we saw the video too, uh, you know, destroyed his cars and burnt his house. According to him, his wife was fond of unleashing violence anytime they call it. Wow. Okay, in a post, he wrote, My greatest art would be at my funeral. Everyone would be like, Bimbo was such a fantastic human, a clown. She's that one person you had on your SOS call. Hmm. She had the biggest art, very smart. She looked out for her family. Bobby, yeah, 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 yeah. My, he said his cops will now wake up and shout, Shut up, all of you, and put me inside the ground. Let me be with the Lord. Bobby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pablo Escobar, now my mate. He didn't get his memo and eulogy at his funeral. I'm laughing at my dumb bars. You see, while I'm still alive, I don't even take myself seriously. I'm on. Now, beg me with the beg bro, so may you not even try. I'm. May you not even try. Well, we have people commented on this. Yes, a lot of people commented. Someone said, take it. You see your mate there. Besides, your wife is waiting for you, Olushi. Ah, ah. Ah, uh ah, -uh, that one is so heavy now. Waiting, waiting. I just believe we, we don't know. We're, I'm not supporting that video. We're on the fence, yes. On this channel, we're always on the fence. We don't support, we don't oppose. You know, but I just believe that uh, that one is too, too heavy. He should have just been allowed to. So, uh -uh. For the fact that he's missing his kids does not mean now. Uh, and that doesn't mean we don't know the truth of the story. That is just the fact. We don't know the truth of the story. Well, you still have some more comments. This person said some persons will just come together with no ingenuity and vivid understanding of marriage, only to have kids and end up making those children suffer consequences of their immorality, selfishness, and immaturity. Any other thing is none of my business. I just pity the kids involved. Who can ever take care of them like their mother? Where well, Jaruma talks, says she won't take care of them. <laughs> Seriously, Yaruma, yeah, the camera has said, like, okay, I will take care of the kids. Uh, nya, nya, nya. Someone also wrote reverse psychology. Please do it fast. The kids will be fine without it. Why be saying, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, why be saying, ah, uh, now nah, women, women, just the, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> what's <it> happen now? <laughs> uh, okay. Someone now replied to this person. Said, first of all, even though his late wife is not my sister, I have woman feelings, and I know the guy has done a lot of damages and wrong. Secondly, they have five kids together. He's still the father of those kids, and no matter how we want to look at it, the kids still need their father, regardless of how we all look at it. They are too young to lose both of their parents, for God's sake. His wife families cannot take care of those kids more than their father will take care of them. Yoruba, it says, Oribi Bekon, Yogunri Fifo. If you are not Yoruba, I'm sure there are a lot of Yoruba who can translate the meaning to you. The person also said, okay, I know... That guy has regret all his actions. Take it or leave it. He missed his wife and kids. Let us learn to forgive people. We are all human and yes, we are not perfect. When you said you should die fast, fast, does it mean you have got no human feelings? Just ask him respectfully. The kid's mom died such a tragic death and the family has not even recovered from that. Do you think about how this will affect the kids in the future? If their parents die miserably, I'm sure if he eventually commits suicide, you come here and say, R.I.P. Hmm. 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 Um, uh, this is this is <laughs> um, uh, this is just a lot of things I just <laughs> ah, ah. Hmm. all right. Let me read this last comment. This person said, mm, it is well with people on the corridor of social media of rebuking and comment condemnation. From what I read and heard, Led Bimbo, IVD, both parents and people that knew about their problems. But refused to speak up, killed Bimbo. Now my question is, how many people say negative things about the husband can take up responsibilities of those children? Mental health is real. Depression comes with false suicidal thoughts. When we see people who speak on suicidal mission, please let's help them irrespective of the crime they must have committed. We should allow the police and lawyers do their work. People went to school to become relevant in society. How do you guys want lawyers to end their job and the police need to arrest the right criminals so that they won't arrest innocent people on the street? Well, that's all for now about... IVD. I just hope and pray that he no go take in life. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you. My name is Sirimeski.